Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested integral using error functions, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. This is pretty interesting viewer suggested integral. So the question is, evaluate this integral from zero to pi over two. Then we have e to the power of negative tangent squared x dx. And then I'll be representing the answer for this integral using error function. So first of all, I'll be using u substitution and calling this u as now tangent x. Then your x has to be arc tangent of the u. So that is why your dx is simply just equal to du over 1 plus now u squared. Okay, so using this, then integral is now becoming integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then we have e to the power of negative u squared over 1 plus u squared. Then we have du. Okay, then we can pull this e out. Then this has to be the same as now then e now times integral from 0 to infinity. Then we have e to the power of negative parenthesis 1 plus now u squared over the same 1 plus now u squared, and we have du. Okay, then I'll be calling this i s as this e times integral from 0 to infinity, e to the power of negative parenthesis 1 plus now u squared times s over 1 plus now u squared, and we have du. And then we can say we want this i of now 1, right? Then we can talk about this derivative of this i of s, i prime of s. i prime of s has to be then negative e times integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then your integrand has to be simply just e to the power of negative 1 plus u squared. And then times s, then we have du. Which is then going to be the same as now negative e times, okay. It has to be the same as then negative e to the power of negative s. Okay, that times e times integral from 0 to infinity. Then we have simply e to the power of this negative u squared s. Okay, then we have du. Okay, then we can make another substitution. I'll be calling this uh, v s now then u times square root of the s so using this substitution we can still talk about this i prime of s then your i prime of s is looking like negative e to the power of negative s still times e times integral from zero to infinity then we have e to the power of negative v squared, and then we have dv over ds, which is then going to be the same as now negative e to the power of negative s times e, that over square root of the s. Okay, and that times pi square root of pi over 2. Okay, then we can notice how your i when your s is going to infinity, then your integral is now equal to zero. So that's why this integral from, say, one to infinity, um, i prime of s ds. This has to be the same as this integral when your s is going to infinity minus i of one. Make sure we're interested in this i of one, right? Okay, then we can say, i of 1 has to be the same as negative integral from 1 to infinity of i prime of s, and then we have ds. Okay, then this is the same as now then e times square root of the pi over now 2 times integral from 1 to infinity. And then we should have e to the power of negative s over square root of the s, then we have ds. 
Okay, the last substitution. So I'll be substituting this s, so I'll be calling this s as now then u square. Okay, then your ds is going to be equal to 2 times u du. Using this, we can rewrite this i of 1. So i of 1 has to be then e times square root of the pi over now 2. That times integral from 1 to infinity. And then we have e to the power of negative u square. Okay, that over u. And then we have ds was 2u du. Okay, so that's why this has to be the same as now then e times square root of pi times integral from 1 to infinity, and then we only have this e to the power of negative u squared, and then du. So that's why we can represent this using error function. To be more specific, the complementary error function. So just for the little information about this error function, um, complementary error function of the z is now 1 minus error function of the z. And then this complementary error function z is looking like 2 over square root of the pi of integral from z to infinity. And then e to the power of negative t squared dt, which is exactly like in this form. So that's why our final answer has to be using this complementary error function. Our answer has to be just equal to um, e times pi over now 2. That times this complementary error function of just the 1. So this is the answer for the question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral where the answer was represented using error function. So I'll be back with more, more questions like this sometime soon.